DNA is negatively charged. The DNA sample is cut using restriction enzymes into various lengths. Agarose gel placed into the buffer solution conducts electricity. The electrophoresis chamber has electrodes at each end, negative at the end where DNA is loaded into the gel, and at the other end we have the positive electrode. Here we can see, when we place our DNA fragments into the wells of the agarose gel at the negative electrode, DNA is repelled because DNA is also negative. Simultaneously, DNA is attracted to the positive electrode. So, in a nutshell, the DNA fragments are dragged through this gel. The smaller DNA fragments, because they are small, migrate through the pores at a quicker rate than the larger fragments. The larger the fragment, the slower it migrates, and very large fragments may not migrate very far at all. So the DNA has been organized within this gel by size. Specifically, the DNA fragments are organized on the basis of how many nucleotides or base pairs they have. The last thing to really know here is that before being loaded, DNA is mixed with a loading dye. It is this dye that makes the DNA samples visible. Once electrophoresis is complete, which is usually around 45 to 60 minutes, the gel is carefully removed and stained with efficient bromide, which bonds to the DNA fragments and fluoresces under UV light. For those last two points, you essentially just need to say that a fluorescent tag has been added to the DNA fragments so the bands produced in the gel can be viewed under UV light.